worries. Biologists at Grand Lake are testing the water. People are calling in. They're worried that they've seen blue-green algae. Two News reporter Liz Bryant tells us how experts with the Grand River Dam Authority are monitoring water quality. GRDA biologists take out this boat twice a month at 14 different locations for all their testing. Want to get a dripping springs, Rusty? A boat full of biologists is headed out. The primary reason we're going out and checking all these different spots are for water quality. The BGA is just an additional parameter. Once we make it to dripping springs, oh. Sam is ready to collect. This first one he's doing is going to be for bacteria. We've heard BGA needs stagnant water and hot weather for a full bloom. I don't think they know everything there is to know about it. But Sam looks at how the whole lake works together. Depth, temperature, pH, dissolved oxygen. If there are extremely high pH and dissolved oxygen levels, he says BGA is likely. Today, Sam is showing the ropes to interns like Juan and Caitlin. It it's a lot more than I expected, but I'm enjoying all of it. Caitlin just finished her freshman year at Rogers State University. Yeah, I get to tell all my friends, like everybody that's been on the lake, to send them pictures. Like, this is what my job is. Yeah. What I get to do. Once Juan pulls up the anchor, let's go. We head back to headquarters. This is where biologists figure out exactly what you're swimming in and get an accurate reading of BGA levels. Good news, no toxic BGA today. So far, so good. Biologists post all test results online. You can even pinpoint locations on the lake. The website will be up and running in about two weeks. Reporting in Langley, Liz Bryant, 2 News, works for you.